analytics with nax in this video i'm going to discuss about a real business problem that i've given a solution to one of my subscriber who has highlighted this uh, issue to me i solved this using a junk dimension concept so if you're not aware what is a junk dimension i have made a video on this just check it out let's try to understand the problem and how i solved it let's try to demonstrate it this channel contains a free content that covers um, MSBI, Power BI, Fundamentals of Azure and DAX. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Even though we have a free contents, I understand a lot of uh, people require some guidance, a push from uh, someone who they can trust. So that's why I decided to provide um, training starting from May end 2025. If you are interested or if uh, any of your colleagues or um, known person requires some trainings on Power BI, this is a chance for them. Please fill out the Google form in the description below. I will contact them shortly. With this note, let's begin. Let's try to understand the problem statement. I have uh, data here. It's orders data, order and quantity and two columns, unit and merge. So using this, I've created a, a data over here, right? I mean to say the report, you have match and unit. So what the customer requires is when the filter match, you are getting the match data here, match one. When you filter uh, unit one, you will get the unit one. When you choose match and unit one, it is actually the filter is performing like an unconditioned user actually needs a R condition meaning like it's not R condition he wants to see first of all these two in a same filter okay that is the first requirement then he chooses unit one as well as m1 both combinations should appear how it he is expecting let's try to go uh, and um, see in the solution section that I have made if you see here the match one and unit one are combined into a single filter when the user chooses m1 as well as unit one both should be appearing either unit one should have a value here or m1 should be appearing this is the requirement how i provided the solution so this is a working solution i built right i want to do it in front of you live and uh, let's try to do it together now the solution comes with the simple modeling logic. There is nothing much we can do here because as Power BI, you all know, dimensions or columns are unconditioned. So I need to create a new um, dimension with combining these two. This is my first step. But once you do that, that will not solve our issue. Basically, what we need to do is we need to merge it and then we need to link it right create a relationship in the sales table and link it there is no way directly you can link it so the best way to create is you need to create a key in the sales table first that combining merge as well as unit that is the first step then in the dimension table we need to create a similar key then you will link it that's the solution i'm proposing Let's try to do it using a power query. I will create a new columns in the power query. Let's do one by one. So I'm in the power query now. Let's try to create a key column. Uh, let's go to add column, custom column. And uh, let me create a key over here. And I will use uh, merge ambison always it is good practice to have some uh, delimiter in between right so i'm adding it hyphen here so that is merge and unit one now next step is to create a match wise uh, one key column right one only with this i need to combine this one as well as this one with the unique values for that let me duplicate this and i will delete every other column i will keep only merge so 
and then I will keep the unique values only right click remove duplicates now you can see I have only the merge related data okay let's name it as merge now what I need to do is I need to repeat uh, this column I mean for the unit so I will delete order quantity as well as merge remove this column and again the same thing remove duplicates now this is the unit so what uh, it's typically uh, happening is I'm getting the keys from the sales table and I one column I will have a unit and another table I will have a column as much let's make it as a common uh, name here so that I can merge these two right append so I will name it as filter or slicer whatever uh, we need let's make it slicer right that will be appropriate name right now uh, what we need to do I need to combine these two so that unit as well as merge will come in the same uh, data so let's try to combine it I have a uh, transform and go to home you have uh, something like append queries append query as new and I need to first table unit second table merge right then merge it there you go now you got um, this slicer and the key column right together this is the concept of uh, somewhat similar to the junk dimension and this table is no more required I can uh, make it as um, not load let, let's see um, enable load enable load that's fine let's make it as um, dimension slicer or we can name it as unit match there you go now let's close and apply it will load now we got this table but we need to create one relationship the key should be matched with key ensure that it is a there is a, um, a trade-off here meaning like this is the many to many so that is uh, when the requirement is like that we cannot follow the um, best practices here we need to blend a little bit so now I'm making the many to many relationship here and I'm doing it here sorry I don't want this one I need a slicer and then I need if you press M1 I'll get everything in M1 if I press unit 1 I'll get everything in unit 1 when I combine these two I will get together that is M1 as well as unit 1 I hope we achieved the desired results if you want to uh, verify the results let's try to do it uh, the sum of M1 is 12,000 when I press uh, unit 1 sum of um, unit 1 is 6,300 but when I press M so the obvious expectation is 12,000 plus 6,300 18,300 but it will not work like that when you press these two it will be 15,300 meaning like there will be a combination already interchanged I mean intersection because you are doing the union here there will be a intersection between these two combination how you will verify it let's try to do it so I have a M1 let's take a snipping so obviously when you understand these models and how you validate it that will be a very good for your implementation and you can uh, understand whether it's returning the good results or not so this is with M1 let's try to use the unit one now now there will be intersection right as I said so this is the first record that is intersection with M1 and uh, there is another record M1 with 2000 so there is 3000 will be intersection so when you combine uh, when you do it separately you 12000 
and then with unit 1 it is 18,300 and when we have intersection of 3000 which is 18,300 minus 3000 which is 15,300 this result is perfect so by this way we can able to achieve our uh, desired results and customer is happy now only thing i highlighted is it's a kind of uh, junk dimension but it's not typical junk usually junk dimension is combination of uh, two members or two uh, columns or two dimensions we can uh, having a lower granularity we can do it in a cross product and apply to reduce number of dimensions in the fact table but here it's not typical junk dimension but obviously this key looks like to me um, but we have repeated it so it's not a typical junk but whatever junk dimension i learned uh, earlier that helped me to solve this problem if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset if you have any real world problems let me know i will try to provide a solution